Dr. Amar Patel oversees pharmacy services at the Portland VA and is one of two COVID vaccine coordinators. Big jobs. Yeah, it's a lot of fun though. The local VA system serves more than 95,000 veterans in the Pacific Northwest. So far, it has given about 32,000 vaccinations at clinics like this in Vancouver. Very efficient in how we schedule our vaccination. Part of the VA's advantage is it already has contacts of eligible and vulnerable patients in its system. We're able to go with our phased approach and make sure that we're contacting everybody equitably. In and out of there, but... 25 minutes. 84-year-old Charles Harold is a Navy veteran in Portland who told us how smooth the experience was a few weeks ago. He said the VA reaches out directly by both email and phone to help people of all tech levels get access to appointments. That's a lot different than the online free-for-all many face elsewhere. Well, you hear a lot of people saying, when do I get a shot and how do I get a shot? VA staff know their clientele. And every day we make a little tweak here or there. It's just so that we can make it a little bit easier for our veterans. And they're on one cohesive team, which is different than other big Oregon health systems working together on vaccine sites. VA problem solving can be streamlined. If we have an ask, it is met within that day, if not the day after. The Portland VA had hoped to vaccinate about 1,500 people a day at this point, but COVID vaccine supply limits that to about 800 right now. It can tap into its national network, though, to share vaccines and more easily schedule appointments based off of known supply the week before. Claire O'Geary is the other local vaccine coordinator. We are able to pull from resources that are across the country and get best practices that others too have set up. That means more rural veterans don't get left behind. Dr. Amar Patel helped fly 144 doses of vaccine to Bend last Friday, and more is coming. It could still take months for local veterans to be fully vaccinated, but the model is working. Any chance you think the VA system could be brought in to help with the public vaccination efforts? Anything we can do to help the general population as well as our veterans get a vaccination will be great. That way we can move past this. Galen Etlin, KGW News.